All right, we've talked about taxable accounts, tax deferred accounts. Let's look at that last one, tax free accounts. So the registrations or account types that happen in this, think Roth, think uh, after tax. So this would be Roth IRAs or Roth 401ks or 403bs. This is after tax accounts. So who are these accounts for? Anyone can open it, there's no age limit. But again, you need to have earned income. You need to have a job, you need to be self-employed. You need to have earned income in order to put money in. Because this is retirement focused and because there's a benefit to it, meaning these grow tax free, the government has a limit on how much you can put in. So for those uh, annually, you can put in $6,000 per person and those over age 50 can add another thousand. So $7,000 total for those over age 50. So when the money goes in, you're using, you're using money that's considered after tax. It's coming out of your checking or your savings accounts. It's already been taxed in your paycheck. So when you put the money in, there's no tax benefit. There's no deduction. It doesn't reduce your taxable income. But the money, the account then grows. None of that is taxable. So interest, dividends, cap gains, it's all inside that protection. No tax impact. And then when you take it out, it could be completely tax-free. And let's look at that. So when you take money out, this is the way it works. It's first in, first out. So you're looking at any contributions, money that you deposited. So those come out first. So if you put in a thousand, the next thousand that you take out is that contribution. Then when you've exhausted or used up all your contributions, then you go to the next level. Now you're starting to pull out returns or growth on those contributions. And that's when it could be taxable. And here's some rules for it. It depends on your age. Are you 59 and a half or older? If you're not quite there yet, there is going to be a penalty on that growth distribution. So there could be, uh, it will uh, have that 10% penalty. Uh, if the account hasn't been open for five years, that's another uh, rule or standard that you have to meet. Um, but if it has all of it, if, if you have met the five year rule, you're over 59 and a half, you can now take all that distribution tax free. It doesn't show up as a, as a, uh, a line item on your tax return. So no RMDs, meaning you're not required to take that money out, um, which is a great thing. So you can let it cook and bake and, and eventually pull it out in the future. So while this is a retirement account, it doesn't only have to be used for retirement purposes. It can meet any other needs as long as you're over age 59 and a half and the account's been there for five years. So like the other two accounts, the taxable and tax deferred, the tax free definitely can fit into your financial plan depending on what you have going on, what are your goals, what are your needs, how can this be used in the future. So as always, if you have any questions, want to know how this can fit in your, in your situation, please feel free to reach out. We'd love to walk you through this and help you understand it.